they, when an unclean spirit leaves a man or woman, he go through dry places and seeking rest and find none. Then he say, I'm going to go back to my to my house where I came from. Then the, the last state is worse than the first. My message today is, if you want to be delivered, you got to be delivered. That means you got to be saved. If you want to be delivered, you got to be delivered, meaning you got to be saved. See, a lot of people want to cast out demon out of them. But they don't want a housekeeper to keep the demon out of them. See, when Jesus say when an unclean spirit leaves a person, he go through dry places and find rest. Then he go out and, and get other demon and the last state of the man or woman is worse than the first. See, I don't want to, I understand people. People want to, to get demon out of them, but they don't want to be delivered from their circumstances. You want demon to be cast out of you, but you want, you don't want to stop smoking. You want demon to cast out of you, but you want, you don't want to stop getting drunk. You want demon to, to be cast out of you, but you don't want to stop whoring around. Yes, you want, you want demon to be cast out of you, but you want to let go homosexuality or lesbianism. But you want a demon to be cast out of you. How hypocrisy or hypocritical you are. You want to be delivered, but you want to be delivered from circumstances that create your house to be dirty and filthy see demons can we can we talk demons lives in dirty house demons lives in pigs because pigs is a dirty filthy animals amen i'm making a message because this young this young lady told me that Prove yourself. I got a demon. Deliver me from this demon. And I told her that the only way you want a demon to deliver from you, you got to surrender, commit your life to Jesus Christ. You can't be, you can't be smoking, cussing, swearing, whoring, Lying, stealing, commit adultery, do all these things and want your house to be clean? No, the housekeeper is the Holy Ghost. I know people say the, 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 the spirit will not dwell in an unclean temple. Yes, the Holy Spirit will not dwell in an unclean spirit, unclean temple. The Bible say you got to be holy. Holy means set apart. Holy means, the Bible says, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy to God, which is a real servant. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you want to be delivered, you got to want God to clean you up. You can't clean yourself up. Because if you clean yourself up, you won't go back in the mess. But if God clean you up, you will stay clean. But if you keep, if you clean yourself up behind closed doors, you will smoke. Behind closed door, nobody looking, you will commit fornication. Behind closed door, you will get drunk. But when God clean you up, whether in public or person, you are a person that's clean. The Bible say, my friend. Present your body as a living sacrifice, holy to God, which is a real servant. Be that conform this world, be we transformed by renewing of your mind. It start with your mind. You gotta have, you have you have to let God regulate your mind. You have to let God transform your mind. You have to let God penetrate your mind. You have to let God clean your clean you up.
You can't clean yourself up. Because if you clean yourself up, you're going to go back into the dirt like a pig. Like a pig go back to the parlor. My friend, if you want to be clean, you got to ask God to clean you up. And God will clean you up. To be delivered, my friend, you got to surrender. What does surrender mean? Surrender mean to yield on the power of God. The Bible says, look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, for the joy that was set before him, endure the cross, despite the shame, and is sit at the right hand of God. God got to clean you up. God got to cast those demons out. I'm not going to brag. My friend, the Bible says, don't rejoice because demons are subject to you, but rejoice because your name is written in heaven. Rejoice because your name is written in heaven. So if you want to be delivered, you got to surrender. You got to commit your ways to God and God will cast the demons out of your life. And you got to have a prayer life. You got to have a fasting life. These things come about nothing but fasting and praying. Praying and fasting, my friend. So if you want a demon out, you got to, you got to, be, you got to be delivered. You got to have salvation. You have to Acts 2.38 and also Romans 10.9. Amen. If you want to be clean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be willing to God to clean you up. If you want a demon out your life, you gotta, you gotta want God to deliver you totally, not half. God don't want no lukewarm saint. God wants you to be complete. God don't want a lukewarm. God wants you to be hot or cold, but lukewarm. He's gonna vomit you out of his mouth. So if you want to be delivered. You got to ask God to deliver you from sin. The Bible say, my friend, if you are a servant of God, you cannot commit sin. Amen. So if you want a demon out, you got to commit, surrender, and totally be a servant of Jesus Christ. And God will cast the demons out of you. And stop saying that. Prove yourself. No, I ain't got to prove nothing to you. Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God, approved unto God, not to man, not to woman, but unto God. And God will cast the demon out of you.